Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. All right, it's Wednesday, the 22nd, July, 2020. Okay, let's see what the messages for the collective are, okay? One more shuffle. Okay. Let's see what the message for the collective is for the 22nd. I almost said 21st. Okay, so you know, the timing is not of importance as much as the message. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Seven of Swords reversed. No more bullshit. First thing I heard. No more bullshit. No more mind control. No more lies, deception. No more trying to take what is not yours right taking the the um you know mental properties of others i heard i just heard plagiarism okay interesting i haven't heard that i haven't don't know if i have heard that before okay so we're done with the fight in terms of freeing ourselves from others who stand in our way. Clearly, we are not allowing others to stand in our way and there's just no way, we're not gonna allow it. We're not allowing the drama, it's reversed, right? Okay, so it's beautiful, funny, not funny very on point they're two sevens universe is weeding out all the crap if it's as if by magic yeah it's just happening you may not even realize it but it is it's happening it's weeding out the people it's our i mean i'm not saying we haven't done that right because people are all on a different a different sorry <laughs> got tangled up here um, people have been tangled up. That's what it is. People have been tangled up with the wrong ideas, the wrong people, thinking that they're, you know, truly. We Sometimes we give others the benefit of the doubt, thinking they're our friends, and they're not, right? So we're letting go of all that. So 7-7, seven, seven, hugely important. Three of Wands reversed. So we know we can't go anywhere, right? We know we can't move forward in the direction yet of probably that which we desire, right? There could be reasons for this happening. I'm not just talking about out there. I'm just talking there could be other reasons why. This is the king, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's turbulent. Look at the waters are turbulent. And here too, look. So... I know it's reversed, but the waters are turbulent. Yeah, look at the boat. The boat is having a hard time keeping up. So, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We're just getting out of Cancer season. So, it could be emotional turbulence, definitely emotional and mental turbulence, right? With the sword, the swords, seven of swords, not being able to just, not being able to go where you want, do what you want. You're striking people out of your life. Literally, we've been having this for how long now, right? Okay, so. Reestablishing a sense of calm is needed right here for whomever this resonates with. The calm before the storm, I just heard that. Oh, competition or money or both. <laughs> we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Capricorn hello. Mm -hmm. So it could be emotional and mental turbulence because financially we're not where we set our intentions to be one or the other are not on the same page 
this doesn't have to be two men in competition with anyone. Actually, they stand alone here, right? So far, they're alone. So this could be two different individual people, or it could clearly be a water sign with earth or an earth sign with water in their chart, okay? So we have two different, totally different individuals here, right? The emotional, they're both experiencing the same thing. Waiting for things to happen. One holds, this is like emerald. Why am I, th I'm thinking the emerald city, right? I love, I do, I do, um, use the Wizard of Oz as a, as um, metaphor, metaphorically speaking, but it's true. That movie implies so many things on so many levels for us, right? Like you could have here the, you know, the Tin Man and the, the um, Lion, and I know it's, the Lion is the Leo, but in that depiction, it's, you have to have the courage and the calm and the resolve, right? He could be the wizard, right? The King of Pentacles could be the actual wizard. Who's, who's, who's masking what, right? I don't know. I don't know why, but that's what I first, I've, that's what I'm seeing in the cards, okay? Someone's the wizard. Ooh, there's the wizard, yeah. All right, so. Tin Man, Wizard, and we got potentially the Lion. I don't know if, sorry, I don't feel that the, I felt Tin Man and the Lion here immediately, but let's not, you know, let's just say someone's wearing, someone's wearing a mask. Someone's saying, this could also be one person saying, hey, my life is totally under control and it's totally not. It's chaotic. It's, I don't have my life in order. I'm not emotionally, even though this is upright, we do have turbulence all written here in these three cards. So these three cards represent the, the mind, the, the ego. The wands represent no movement clearly because emotionally and mentally there's huge turbulence. So we're not on point, obviously, and someone is just not gotten their life in order. It's it's really that's what it is. It could be it could be the, the finances are not there, it could be you know, he's like behind the curtain, right? Look at how it looks like reversed. He's like behind this, this whole gateway. And like, if you took it away, if you took his, him not being there, this is like the castle, the gateway, right? And then this is like when he was poking out his head right? The wizard, the fake wizard, right? Yeah, I feel that strongly. I really do. Someone's not, someone's not who they say they are, for sure. And, 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 not or, and they don't have the confidence and the stability that they claim that they do. Who's the joker? First thing, the fool is not always the one who packs light and gets, you know, a new life. Actually, this dog, today, it's really weird how the cards show up in different ways. Today, I'm looking at the dog who's charging, wanting to grab the fool, the leg, the, the see, look at, he wants to grab on and say, don't be a fool, don't be stupid. And the dog represents 
loyalty. Someone may be making a stupid move. I'm just saying. Someone may be, make, be getting ready to do something really foolish. That dog's warning the fool not to do it. He's the joker. In this depiction today, with all the cards here, this is a joker who's not who he says he is. He's faking it. He's got the mask on, you see it, right? He's the fake wizard. He's totally the fake. So who is it? Is it the king of cups or is it the king of pentacles or is it all one person? Sorry, my dog's under there. Page of Cups. Mm-hmm. So, there's a younger child who's realizing that the love or it's their childhood, they were not loved. That's what I just heard. They were not loved. They were not loved in a way that they felt, um, in the way that they felt it was. It was not reciprocated, or or there was no forgiveness. There's a situation here where someone's gonna do something foolish, especially in love. It it is about loyalty and who's. Who's lying to who? And it could be to a younger Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or you could be a father figure who's not wanting to forgive or someone's not forgiving them for what's happened. Like, right? Emotional, we see this emotional drainage. So someone was played is what I'm feeling. Someone was played here. Someone was played. Maybe someone was used for their money or the money they didn't have. Look, the love was not reciprocated. The love is not there. This is love lost. This is love lost. And I don't care how many seasons, how many seasons you've had with someone or what past history or life cycles there is no reciprocated love here, but it's also no love of self. That's why this, this king wants to continue the charades. He's trying to, oh yeah, he's trying. That's what maybe he's doing. This fool is trying to get word, perhaps to a page of cups, to talk to resolve old issues that were lies and deception about what they've been through, about who's the tr who's telling the truth. Someone may be trying to get to someone to say he's a liar, and it could be a com it could be a competitive lover, right? There's no there is no depiction of a divine feminine here, so. We are looking at two masculines that are maybe trying to tell on each other, right? No, he did it. No, he did it. No, he's the one. He's he's the false one, right? Who's wearing the mask? Who's Who is trying to get away with something? Who's trying not to get caught? There's not there's not reciprocated love here so someone's trying to get yeah someone's trying not to get caught there's going to be an all out brawl between two men Taurus Virgo Capricorn Cancer Pisces Scorpio there it's immaturity this doesn't have to be a young person but it could be an immature person who cannot take no for an answer, right, and wants to fight tooth and nail, 
or this is about I gotta get I gotta I gotta hurry I gotta hurry and tell so and so it's not the truth they just want this is this is a battle of the eagles the eagles the ego battles of the ego because someone had to walk away from something that probably they didn't want to the universe stopped it yep there it is how many cycles how much history doesn't matter it's it's a complete it's completed and someone cannot bear to let go so someone's clearly in defense mode I don't, you know, I didn't want to go. I want, I don't want, I don't, I want this love, but I can't have this love because I don't love myself the proper way because I'm wearing a mask. And I certainly don't have what I, what I tell people I have. I do not have the money. I do not have the means by which to give. And I'm certainly not happy. Because how can you be happy when you're not who you say you are, right? Someone's not giving out the money. Someone's not, someone's working their butt off for what? That's what they're saying also, right? This could have been a work love situation or just a work situation. That's it. Because there is no... The love is of self. The love really is. Because I don't have one feminine card in here, you guys. Not one. Except for this, the um, Six of Cups, which is soulmate card. So this is a battle of the egos. Who gets the girl? No, he doesn't love you. No, I love her. Uh, she'll never love... He'll never love you like I love you, right? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. All right. It's a it's a duking it out between Cancer Pisces Scorpio and Capricorn Taurus Virgo. And it's really about truly it's about who's 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 the real deal. Or are both of them not, right? I have no indications of either one of these two telling the truth about who they are, what they want, and how much they have or don't have. Like, they just don't reveal. They just want to fight. They want to fight, right? And even if they verbally, this is a verbal fight. This is like, I'm going to up you on all the garbage that you I have on you. I got, like, tons of garbage on you. And, you know, I can put you down, literally, with the information I have on you, right? Someone said, some, someone else said, the other guy said, you know, I'm out. I'm not even listening to you. I'm not going to fight. I don't want to fight. The situation's over. Two people dueling over. A relationship here and probably if I were to if I were to I'm not a betting woman <laughs> I'm really not but if I were to place a bet on this on this reading I would bet the woman's like long gone <laughs> I don't know like this is high school shit right I mean come on guys battling it had to happen this way okay universe orchestrated this this battle so that someone could come to their senses right there it is so now the emperor got control of his life because he had to he had to go through this situation to to realize who he really is there it is he had to go through his shadow work. So it could be just one person going through his own crap because the King of Cups is usually your emotional stuff, the baggage of the past, even the Seven of Swords reversed, you know? 
what I thought I, who I thought I was, what I thought I was, is not at all who you are at here. And then as we come out with these cards, someone had to go through a huge, massive upheaval of, of their shadow side. And I'm going to even go out on a, on a limb here and say, this is totally one guy who has the scarecrow, the, the tin man, and the lion all in one person. And the Wizard of Oz that wasn't real. Someone had to figure it out. So they did stand their ground. They did have a verbal, let, you know, I'll have at it. Yep, it went down. That's how it cleared. I wasn't going to stop until I got more of the story. So the tower actually did happen because someone finally took control and stood up for what they believe in, which is themselves. Yeah, still no women here. It's just self. One person battling their false self. The alter ego. This is battle of the ego. But it's not between two people. I think it's really between just the self. Truly I do. And this had to happen. Wow. Someone just wasn't... You know, and it's not like a bad thing when you are getting ready to do shadow work, you really don't understand. You don't understand the um, complexity of the trail of painful hearts that you have, that you have, that you have, right? What's that song? What's her song? Oh. The hearts that you have hurt don't come back for me right it's that song it's that song don't come back for me with all the hearts that you, you, you've broken so that could be that could be a red flag someone may be coming back to tell you that they're changed and the red flag is just don't forget this they may tell you that they went through shadow work and that they've learned and they're not the same person, but you also make sure that, you know, you're listening and not talking. Don't come back, Christina Perry, right? Don't come back, don't come back. I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> All right, yeah. Don't come back for me, for sure. Not saying that this person is not being genuine now. So someone went through a slowdown. When you're excited, get ahead of yourself. This is something that's happening because I just felt it inside of me, my energy. Take some time to allow things to unfold. So someone was being very quick about this transformation. Someone had to take a much needed respite of going within. There's a lot of dreams that come, are coming and this is interesting. I find it really interesting. This is the feminine. Here's the feminine. The cards are nine. The final curtain the curtain call and you see how the it looks just like Oz right look here's Oz right here these are candles because this is the inner sanctuary of of this feminine who look at here's the couple here's the couple she's dreaming about him they meet in the 5D. And you know what? And Okay, and so you know what I heard? I heard when they meet in the 5D, he's actually his true self. He shows up in her dreams as his, 
his authentic self, not the fake self that he had to go through. That's interesting. That's really, I mean, it's really cool. Treasure your loved ones. Okay, so it's important to love others deeply. And that's what he's learned. See, that we are just a drop in the ocean. And this is about taking care of the ones that we love. This is, oh, it's a 10. There it is, the new beginning. So after all of this, the importance that comes with the authentic truth is that we are just this droplet into the arms of our loved ones and the treasures are within. These are beautiful cards. So she dreams of him. And when she dreams of him, she dreams of him as she, as when they met. I'm gonna pick one more card. Oh my God, I'm at 30 minutes here. Love makes the difference, of course. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. And that's exactly what's happening. So while the masculine, this is feminine, right? Yeah, there she is. While the feminine, while the feminine is dreaming, wishing, praying, and hoping, this is a four. Establishing a new foundation, making sure that the family life is stable and secure. The masculine is doing shadow work as he proceeds into the shadow work and as, con con as he concludes this phase of his journey, he is reunited with her from an authentic self and remembering to treasure what they have because love is all that really we have, right? Wow. All right. <laughs> I'm blown away. Okay. Have a great day.